What's up everybody? Today we're at a liquor bar in Bog, right next to Bog Village. Somewhere I like to call Chicken Back Bar. It's called Woolery's Enterprise So Usually does Chicken Back, does a lot of corn pork and things like that. But today he's doing curry. We came down here, we started filming the other day. He was supposed to be doing some of his famous Chicken Back. But the boss ended up and give me a blowout good chicken. I'm mean, gonna come off a good chicken, so we offer me tell him so no man, we have to do something else, we have to refill that again. Cause you have me at talk about chicken back and when we're looking at the pot, a good good chicken you give me. So today we have Chef Manzi and Shane and deal with some curry goat. And just infusing it in there now, rubbing it in so that all of that flavor soaks into the kit, into the chicken. the spice, the flavor of Jamaica, the natural allspice. Just adding some of that into it now. Make sure every crevice get a touch of something. If it's not pimento, it's garlic. If it's not garlic, it's onion. If it's not onion, it's pepper. And then all of that together now with some ginger after that. The smell of that ginger is extremely pronounced. Jamaica, as you know, is one known for some of the best ginger in the world. Our ginger, I think, is actually rated number one. Um, ginger exports is part of Jamaica's agricultural bounce back, and we've been doing a lot of ginger exports lately. That smell, though, is
so that I have had them already on that. One last massage. Spare some weeks on again. Coming off of that is just absolutely insane. The flavors that was uniting right now. bubble and soak all of those seasonings come down into the gravy a chicken goes down into the gravy all of those flavors bubble up and combine and then have problems after that you can see the smoke coming off of it and when the smoke comes off of it and goes under that cover total different flavor total different cooking than gas cooking You say I'm right. Half of your team is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Maroon Tony. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I don't know everybody. I don't know. So that was a yellow yam. This is a rent up. What the difference with them? What the difference with them? Hmm? What the difference with the yellow yam and the renta? One is a softer yam. The renta softer. Yeah. Much softer. Yeah. Different texture. Different texture. One can be the renter yam mm -hmm. can put down for up to a year or two years. You can put down the renter yam for two years. Yeah man. And it won't no, no damage. Nothing will happen to it. No, no, no. So it's our own natural preservative. Yeah. Good for export. The smell of that chicken still arrives, but the yellow yam compared to the renta yam, as you said, the renta yam is more for export, but still a very nice yam. Can sit down for a year or more and won't spoil, nothing will happen to it. Can eat it right after. Softer yam than the yellow yam to me, though. 
not like Jamaica, yellow yam. Faster, stronger, longer. Like the legend itself. If both say yellow yam, a yellow yam it the can't go wrong when the legend say a yellow yam the thing there. turning the pot making sure that every pot get a little touch of the fire touch of the heat make sure the seasoning still goes down goes through every layer all that seasoning goes into that gravy as well so everything down there cooked down and the flavor soaking you get a proper soak of flavor with that and you know the pepper them going to be bursting with its own flavors in there as well any stew in Jamaica, whether it's spinners, you have to put in there some sort of dumpling after going out. Um. Dumpling. It's a half pound flour, this. <laughs> Quarter pound flour, half pound. things to the pot. That pot been cooking down simmering for at least 45 now and then the final touch. You can see the seasoning soak on to it already. Grandmother. 
that stew was soaking down with all that seasoning and then the final touch just a little sweetness a little acid into it a bit of tomato the acid of tomato will offset with all of that flavor gone into that gravy bring it down a little more add a little sweetness to it as well and the carrots as well will do that take out a little of the salt bring some of the sugar to it offsetting flavors balancing out the pot proper stew Or for the young, everybody want a piece of renta. That's it. Gone with mine too. Yes, chef. How is it? Good. That's how we do. Season. Well, it's season, brother. Good. Yeah, man, we get some of that over here, so too. It's a little bit for me, too. Oh, maybe I'll do some of that. Where's some of that? Yeah, man. Extra fear, bro. Sure, the pop out touch every team. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
I really could be the app up seasoning. Well seasoned. Pepper nice. That country pepper. It's that's money. Mm -hmm. That old scotch bunny. Complete yeah. different flavor. White yam. A lot softer than the yellow yam. The yellow yam. A lot tougher. Firmer. Mm -hmm. But both still excellent. Yeah, really good. <laughs> of course. Yeah. Big old juicy cat. We were the dream of our trip. <laughs> well need. No. Papa don't play. You know what I'm saying about it? It comes from the bacon so that's so high. That is where you can't Keep that gravy in it. And get big for the pepper juice. Pepper juice. Mm. Yeah, man, the food proper. Food are going with a bag of things. Mm. Mm. Piece of pepper. What is my opinion? Sorry. You make a pepper cook out there. Pepper boss. This a raw pepper. The raw pepper have flavor, yeah. nice. You know, you know. They're not hot. 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 It's about yeah. nice yeah, heat. Yeah, nice yeah. buzz. But yeah, yeah, man. Right now, it's a pepper in there. I have it in there. No man. Cut up the nice pepper, did it there? Okay. A six pepper I'm put in there. Beautiful. But trust me. Where's the true pepper not here, somebody? <laughs> you can't add, you can't subtract. Yeah, you can't subtract. You can't subtract. You can't subtract. You can Crispiness coming up, nothing like a little contour fried on. All that fat get crispy on it. Time is out of the way, the smell of that time. You can see a piece of cracking on that piece right there, some one duck piece of cracking that. Everything cooking down nice, yeah, and then just add up some things. Yeah. Carrot, string bean, cucumber. Everything in our platform. That's the last I had for the pot. Mm -hmm. put down on steam out. Mm -hmm. All of the flavor that it goes. The bread is still in production. Chef Manzi, 
the tripe, the intestines, goat belly. How are you David? Boy, you know something, I just have money shorts and idea. Oh, uh, you know, no people don't like to say the money shorts, I think they like to say woman is shorts. Yali shorts. Yali shorts, yeah. yeah. But I just say things in idea, you know? Oh, I'm going over here, so shit. I don't know what's up. That's the goat. That's that rummy. And if you feel the goat, not authentic, see it. You know that? That's something I'm mean on you. Massage the seasoning into the goat meat and sure so every can or every crevice that I touch with some of that season, some of that spice. That curry powder and that season of the soap meat. And smell scotch bonnet and smell thyme. I want to make curry goat to make a coffee spice. If you make spice in it, then you don't want it. It's not good. It's not it's good. Not good. <laughs> Beautiful. It's a part of the trip. What you, this is what you call the rag. The rag. Yeah. And literally, if you put it down in the pipe, you can wash it, like, wash a it rag. like a rag. And wash it like a rag. And wash it out. Here it is. Yeah, man. A sweet part, I believe. Yes, got. man. Is <laughs> <laughs> it sweet to the belly? I eat, I eat that. this. Yeah. They squeeze it like a rag. Rinse and rewash and everything. Yes, Rag him up. Yeah. Some of the curry in the island. Uh, that nice burnt curry flavor. Heat is up. Yeah, the smell of that is such big night. Wow. Spices that are blended up to make the curry seasoning, you're bringing them to a pot now with all them flavors, but you know. You're mixing that curry in with the onion, the scotch money, 
the scallion. I'm just making all of them flavors unite. So once the meat touches that, it's just a harmony. Ridiculous coming off of it. Nice girl. Nice girl. Eat a come off of them cold and a normal yeah. and a normal heat this right now my finger that my bun off me need lotion again <laughs> You sure you ain't put on this morning? No, me ain't put on oh, this <laughs> Just check <laughs> Manzi, what is? You know, sir, the little goat liver and the goat light and the goat balls and them things So what do you do? You know, sir, there's something for me going to munch in the kitchen while we're at home That was Yeah, man we we'll just have the fire and we'll just fry it up, you know? I go up bars, go up the bar. Every part I go up, I'm in here. Blood fire. Yes. No, man, we don't want bars at the No, no, no. No, no. No, no. No, no. No, no. No, Yeah man, yeah. the pepper flavor will come up soon after you have to hold the sneeze or hold your hands still if you're not used to it. Oh, intense, yeah man. People are going to start cracking. <laughs> come on, you know, hold it man, I just took a spice. How are you happy? Mm hmm. Sweat a drip off of your shit. Yeah, brother. Pot hot. Of course. What are you doing, man? Yeah, man, that's just hitting me. It's like getting pepper sprayed off of the curry. It's like literally getting pepper yeah. sprayed or tear gas. See it? It's like we used to the heat and the pepper. Nice. Yeah. I don't know if I'm going to suck it. I don't know if I'm going to suck it. How is it? Mmm. Can I smell it? Or me? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Proper. Yeah. Proper. Coming together nice, and I get scotch bonnet, and I get fully for the curry flavor. 
can taste the time in it to just start simmer down. Yeah man, the spice take it after, just leave you with a little heat. Well proper. Yes, man. Well proper. Sorry, At the last set of natural seasoning. Just at the last set of the natural season, the onion and the scallion and the more pepper into it. You can see the bone start separate from the meat. Smell of the tender, come on. The bone is separate. That's tender. Second, don't write this up. Right. Tell that good. You can tell you that good color. Gravy look nice. Yeah. Ready. 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 The pot just done with the good. <laughs> Straight from the pot. Mm. Mm. Yo, they can't beat a fresh goat. That goat was butchered this morning. From it was butchered, it came here, it was seasoned straight into the pot. The seasoning coming out, the pepper coming out, the curry flavor coming out. You have the thyme, the onion, the scallion, everything in there just went down and cooked down with that perfectly. Tender, sweet, pepper, heat. And the money is water above it. Uh, just put in the dumpling there, you know? I'll add the food to it now. Splash. Yeah. So I add the spinners and then after that it was a food. Green banana with the skin on, carrots, yam. All of the things that we need to go in the manish water or the yellowish water as they call it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright. We're not gonna cook now. 